ready for the next battle. Hey, what's up, Internet? It's your boy Nick here, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to take one of King's wrestling combos, all right, just the grappling, a plain old sequence, and we're going to recreate it, break it down, and then, of course, modify it. I want to stay as true to the combo as possible, but at the same time, make sure that you can apply it in real life. Now, I just want to say one thing, even with these modifications, these sequences are not going to be high percentage. To be honest, everything from the takedown to the entries could be better. So I'm just a nerd who recently got a purple belt, and of course I take fighting games way too seriously when fighting games themselves, well, they don't take themselves seriously. So without further ado, let's take a look at the sequence that we're covering today. Cool. Enjoy. Okay, so we got that takedown. The issue is here that your opponent will not let you, you know, just go over them like that. They've got these things called legs and they are indeed dangerous and they are going to kick, they're going to push you away, they're going to lock you up. All right, so there is that brief moment where the legs are open. Okay, so the one thing is pin the leg down and the hip down. Okay, now this way we can move around him or give us the opportunity to move around there. Now, this hand's on the hip and this elbow will be on the knee because we don't want to get his knee getting between us and him, okay? So here I can actually move around, okay? I can pin the leg down and I can bring this leg over not worrying about it getting hooked and then I can attack further okay so got the takedown now I'm gonna be doing it the other way I'll pin I'll pin I will move over and now okay I can slide around maybe if they use this hand to push against me I can hook it and come around okay so from here Boom, boom, okay, I can control my opponent, I can put my foot here to control, I can sit on them and I can go for that arm ball, okay, and then from here, if I make the mistake or they decide to take this hand and they close real tight, that's cool, and they try to turn away from me then I can move with them, all right? In fact, I'll give this up for them to move, pin down, and then go for that Kimura. Pretty simple, actually. Okay, cool, so the takedown in the game that is being used is a very simple uh, double leg where I press the head and I slide behind the knees to get him down. The only thing is, if we're going to clinch, it's very easy to attack or go for an attack while doing this, alright? And I'm not shooting with my knees, and I'm not creating an angle there. But as soon as I create the angle, and he turns, and he squares up, and I shoot with my knees, I can make this take down a lot more effective. Cool. Oh. 
you win. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. Please hit subscribe, hit that like button and hit the bell notifications. It's a small click for you, but it's a massive help for me. Thank you once again and have a good rest of your day.